Hello guys, welcome to Jujubi Designs. So today I'll be making a logo and I'll be showing you the process of how to make this logo with the Biza tool. Uh, I think this is my first video using the Biza tool. So you guys should keep me posted or just comment down the section if you want me to make more logos with the Biza tool. And uh, yeah, subscribe. So let's get started actually. So. Firstly, this is the rough sketch of uh, the design we want to make. So before you do the rough sketch, I'm sorry, I can't draw like that. So we we'll just draw a rough sketch of what we want to achieve. Then we do the so. Firstly, what we want to do now is using our grid tool for easier. Okay, let me just use this as 15, 15. So that you can design easily, we need to use our grid tool. Then we click on the button so that we can take it to the side we need it. One. I think we'll need one here. We'll need one here. I guess we have it where we want them now. So we go to our visa too. If you guys want me to make a video on how to use the visa too, just comment down. Firstly, we want to click this. Let's click this button to remove it. Then we click this button here middle one to bring it to where we want to start from i guess this will be our starting point then we'll click the plus button again then add where we want to add it sorry let me go back to my grid to adjust some things i think i'll need one here okay so we're on the magnet button to make it easier so now we click it here. We go back here to adjust some things. We can on the zoom tool to get closer. Yeah, I guess we've done that. We click here again. Click the next side to perfect it. Just here. Let me bring it here. I think we need one here. Alright. So I guess we're done with that. Hold that. We click the next to put it to the next point. We adjust it. point I think this will be the next point we click the module button to make it in the right frame I think this is okay I want to click on next is this but before that let's adjust our grid to adjust the size Closer here. Okay. So we can get a little bit closer now. Click on here. I think we'll need something here. 
click our grid tool okay i think that's good now so we click on the next point we want to touch okay adjust it it's getting for it okay, let's offer our magnet button first okay i guess we've done that we click it so now we're done with it we want to merge the beginning and the end together now we don't click this anymore what we do is uh we click this button here that's this one yeah so they're going to merge together and so what we want to do next is click the adjust so adjust it to the perfect dimension so we click on it oh my god click on this can zoom in So I think we are done now with the food. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So we're done with that. We can zoom to see clearly. I think that's okay now. Then we want to do to go to the opacity and fill it up. Color you want. I'm going to just drop it back to zero. Then we can click that. So, see, we're done with the first one couple of glitches here with time we perfect it but because this is a video I don't want to waste too much time but make sure it's perfect so let's go to the second part now we can off this one and click on the visa tool again for now we want to do the cross so we have to um make the grid tool in the cross side so let's go back to the grid tool and just press 15 15 again Just the grid to fit with the cross description. So I'll click one, put here, click one, put here, put at the bottom, put at the sides. So once we're done with that now. Next thing, we click our visa tool, and we click the exit button to put it at the beginning point. Sorry. I think we should start from here. We can zoom in. So, oh, sorry. We'll have to put one here also.
So we're done with that now. Reduce the opacity to zero and put the color we want to put. So it and so once we're done with that, now we can unlock the this thing back. So. This is what we have. So now we can merge it if you want to and put everything together. So at the end of the day, when you merge it together, we can have this. So now you can adjust it. Let's add the lettering to it. Let's use a simple font like Montserrat to pop it. Make the grid more conducive so that we get the more precise look. So, if I do this now, I guess we're done. So, if I reduce this, so on the end of the day. The logo is done now and this is the outcome so you can save it ultra so guys that's how to make a logo with visa so if you want me to make um, a video on how to make how to use video visa to just see it in the comment section thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe share and comment thank you